What's up? Welcome back to Naptime Builder. Today, we're going to take a break from the truck for a day. I got an old air compressor that I replaced. And, uh, well, we're going to take all that apart where we basically just have the tank. And we're going to try to turn it into a hot rod fire pit. So... I've seen a couple of them, and these people want ridiculous money for them, and they pretty much just use crap, so that's what we're going to do. One over here. I went and these are some old tractor wheels. There were some old lawnmower wheels. I'll have to take the tires off of them, give it that kind of raked look. But uh, first, we got to dismantle all of that. got the tank completely stripped and all that and uh get them tires off them lawnmower wheels so here's the idea i know it looks pretty plain they're not mounted they're just sitting up there i've got a block of wood a two by six under it just to just so i know it'll roll and won't be like on the ground but it's kind of got that hot rod rake and I've not been seeing any like windshields or anything like that on any of them. But this is the handles that was on the thing, the uh, air compressor. So I'm thinking about cutting these right here and getting rid of this front part. Or do I, this way. Okay, maybe that way. Here, and getting rid of this part. Then she would kind of look like it's got a windshield. Then we cut a big old rectangle, rectangle out here and have a little handle on it. That way we can set it back on it to cover it. I really don't like the drain spout here, but I might put an old tag up here. And I need to find me something round that could go for headlights and tail lights. But you know, that's that's the idea. Some will like it, some will hate it. Uh, I'm just using junk that I got around. So, uh, and other people's junk since I got them wheels from daddy. But, uh, it's whatever. I think it's kind of cool. I seen a couple of them and I figured I'd put my, my little taste and spin on it. So this is what we're coming up with. Uh, also the ones that I seen, I don't think they roll and I'm not going to be leaving that just out in the middle of the yard all the time. So I want mine to roll. 
That way I can easily move it and ain't got to just pick it up and grizzly bear it all the way to wherever I'm gonna keep it. So uh, I'll have to figure that out too. But I got an idea, so we'll see how it goes. All right, so now that I've went around and gathered some more junk, here's, here's what the plan is. I already said I'm gonna cut off right up here on that, take away that, and that's probably gonna be about right there. And then it's gonna sit like that. I got an old set of headers over there. I thought about throwing on it. That's what some have done, but I don't know that it's actually gonna look right for mine. I've marked around the center there, about the center of that wheel on both sides. I'm gonna drill a hole. And since I want mine to run, uh, roll, I've got some rebar here. I'm gonna cut the hole just a hair bigger than the rebar to slide the, it through. I'm gonna cut a piece of this out and weld to the back side of them wheels. Weld the rebar to that. And I should be able to roll. That's what I'm gonna do on the front and back. I'm gonna do the back first. That way I might need to lower that front just a little bit to get a good spot to run my rebar through. And I grabbed one of my old tags off the wall. Well, probably. Place her up here. Maybe, possibly, probably. I'll take that surrounding off that frame. I've got two exhaust couplers there. Use them as my headlights up here. And this is some junk that we cut off the back of the farm truck, or the church truck. I'm gonna cut this about right here, just using these two. And they can look like tail lights back here. What else was there? Huh. That's some headers. I was thinking about, but I just, I don't really like the look. So we're probably not gonna use those. But uh, that's the plan so far. So I guess I'm about to start drilling and cutting and welding and see how this goes. So it's hot as crap out here and I've been busting tail. <clears throat> but I got the wheels, axles on, as you could see from that uh, time lapse, the fronts. A little different. My holes was off by just a hair, so I kind of slotted them so they can shift a little bit. But who knows when I'm pulling it, it might help it turn a little better, you know? But this is what we got so far. If I don't fall and bust my butt over this rebar. Wheels on, she rolls. And I went ahead and cut the extra off of this that I was gonna use for my windshield. And uh, went ahead and grinded some spots for it. And I mapped out a line here that I'll end up cutting to place the firewood in and uh and all that but uh i think i'm about to sit down for a minute in front of this fan because it's burning up over here it does feel like it's about to rain though because it's cooled off a lot in just last few minutes surprisingly but uh i'm gonna get some water then uh i guess we'll get back on old girl here and see how much we can get done today
Well, it looks like I finished just in time because uh, them last couple welds there, it was thundering pretty good. So uh, I guess it's about time to clean my mess up. But uh, <clears throat> this little hot rod fire pit is not meant to be pristine or nothing. It's meant to look ratty. So I guess my little bubble gum welds just fit right in. But uh, here's what it looks like. And I'm a little torn. I'm throwing these headers on the side of it because I'm not sure if I would, if, it, if I'd like the look or not. But we might. Who knows? Here's what she looks like. Tractor tires in the rear, small lawnmower tires in the front. Ta old tag, old antique tag up front tail lights these uh, exhaust couplers to make it look like it has headlights that was just the old handle off of the uh, air compressor and then you can oh that's still that's still a lot dummy and then right there she look like a convertible <laughs> And then she'll have fire coming out of it, so uh, it's different. Most definitely different. Let's see if I can set my stand up to get a look at what these headers would look like. <clears throat> if I don't put them on in this video, I can always put them on after. So I need some suggestions. I'm torn. I'm torn. All right, I got the wifey's opinion and she thought that the headers on it was a little too much. And I kind of agree. That's why I wanted a second opinion. But there she is. And this is not, this is like a, just on a whim kind of thing. I had never thought about making my own fire pit look like a hot rod before. I was actually, we was talking about uh, making some s'mores or toasting some marshmallows or something. And I was like, well, I don't have a fire pit. And I didn't want to go buy one of them 30 or $40 ones at Walmart, use it one time and you know, that'd be it. And then, so I was looking on Marketplace because I'm a cheapskate. <laughs> and uh, I just happened to see a hot rod fire pit on Marketplace somebody had built. <clears throat> and honestly, I feel like mine looks better. But, you know, I'm a little, you know, well, they wanted $1,500 for a thing. And I was like, y'all are smoking some crack. Well, so we built our own. And... All I, all I used was some welding wire and some junk I already had, so. Thanks for watching Naptime Builder. It's nice every now and then having a a smaller project and or a well quicker project to break up some of the regular stuff. So uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch y'all later.